so I'm all for gentlemen being gentlemen, but can we normalize not using guys for their bank accounts? I'm not saying date a scrub or whatever, but I have a brother. I don't like the idea of a girl dating him just so she can get free meals and then not really wanting something serious with him. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Ron, and I am the guy that talks too much, and I appreciate you for stopping by. So as you can see at the beginning of the video, the Telemundo lady, she works at Telemundo. You know, I follow her on TikTok. She works at Telemundo, and we see on some shit. The Telemundo lady wants to know, can we please normalize, stop using men for their bank accounts, their wallets, their resources, their material uh, status? Can we? Well, in this video, we are going to try to answer that question and at the same time, Call out the hypocrisy of modern women. Don't go nowhere. Stay tuned. Keep it locked. It's your boy Ron. Let's get it. Pa! So I'm all for gentlemen being gentlemen, but can we normalize not using guys for their bank accounts? I'm not saying date a scrub or whatever, but I have a brother. I don't like the idea of a girl dating him just so she can get free meals and then not really wanting something serious with him. And the problem is I know some people like that. They will literally go on dates just so that they can get free meals, free drinks from these guys and then not hit them up ever again. Yeah, no, I do not like that. I do not agree with that What 100%. I don't even like the idea of a guy paying for my nails, my hair, my anything. Just because if I got a job and you got a job, why do you got to pay for my stuff and I don't ever pay for your stuff? I don't know if I'm serious about somebody, it goes both ways. Because at the end of the day, when y'all get married, those finances are coming from the exact same household. So, I don't know. It makes sense in my head. I'm not I'm not going to lie, guys. I do agree with everything the Telemundo lady said. But there's a little bit of hypocrisy in that. Let's break that down. In a world that we live in, right? In this material world with these modern women that they say they don't do 50-50, that a man that does 50-50 is broke, or or broke man doesn't deserve no kitty, or if a man says that, sis, dump him, you don't need that type of man. But here's what the hypocrisy lies, Telemundo lady and all the women watching around the world, that y'all talk about this 50-50 bullshit. Y'all say that when we, we come in a relationship, we'll become one, but we know it's all a lie. First off, women get with men uh, that have more status and more resources than them. Why the two things that women seek in a relationship or in a partner is emotional stability, but most of all, financial stability. Am I going to be financially and emotionally stable with this guy? They can take not being emotionally stable, but is this guy going to pay the bill? Is this guy going to pay the bill? Is this guy going to take care of me and my kids? Is this guy going to buy me the car? Is this guy going to buy me the house? Is this guy going to provide for me, you know, to fulfill the the role of a man, which is to protect and provide? And look, man, to some extent, I agree, man. I'm a man of God. This is this is what, what God put us here for. But here here's another thing, especially in this modern world, that not only that providing is not enough... But not only that providing is not to know, but it's also about the mindset of the modern era. That a man that will ask for a wife or his girlfriend to go 50-50 is a scrub. It's a scrub that is broke. Look at the points that this young lady make here. Let's break it down. First, she said that she's not with the idea of women going on dates with men just for dinner dates, right? Just to get a free meal and all that and get the, those guys' hopes up and then go some. But guess what, man? I guess it was a study. I'm sorry if I'm quoting it wrong, but one out of five women admitted that, and I will put it here in the screen, one out of five women admitted that they went on dates with guys that they're not interested in just because they were bored or just because they want a free meal. And guess what? That study is right. Because I seen my cousins do it, my female cousins. I seen some of my, I seen my female friends do it. Y'all know who y'all are. I love y'all, but it's the truth that they will go on with these dates and these men just because they were bored, just because they wanted to watch that movie and not pay for it, just because they wanted to get 
a, a, a free meal and all those things. I and and I ain't gonna lie, man. Your boy was been on these dating apps for this past few years. I don't doubt that these women used me. You know, although a lot of my days were successful. You know, where we moved past the first day, but I don't doubt some of these girls used me for a, a free dinner day and then realized that I was a shit. Stop the cap sound effect. Stop the cap. <laughs> That's not here or there, right? Women do use men for dates and just for playing intention, right? And I ain't gonna lie, shame on some of these men. I know they're being played like a sucker, but they still play along. Because a lot of you men know when a woman don't like you and when a woman like you. And some other you brothers don't. Some of you brothers are straight good people. Some suckers, man. That y'all don't know. Y'all don't know about the game, right? Then the Telemundo lady deep into deep goes into deeper waters when she says, "Hey man, I don't, I don't, I don't like that idea when woman, you know, just using a man. Cause I have a brother, right? Cause it hurts when it's Telemundo lady, right? And all you women watching, it's okay when y'all doing it to other men, but when it's your brother, your father, your uncle, somebody, or man who's dear to you, y'all don't like it. Cause she's like, yo, I don't want my brother to go through that. La, 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 la. But guess what? Telemundo lady, a lot of brothers, your brother, other men go through that. They used to get used and abused and then throw to the, throw to the curve or to the side. Like they don't mean nothing. And then you went on to say about y'all, I will feel uncomfortable from a man paying my nails Paying my bills, paying for my hair. I don't need a man to do that. Sounds like you are more on the conservative side, right? Not to get into the politics. Sounds like you were raised with these, like, yo, I don't need a man. I can work on my own. I can do it for myself. But guess what? These women ain't trying to hear that shit. These women ain't trying to hear that shit. They're trying to man that's going to pay their nails. And trust me, I paid for nails before. Yo, that shit is expensive. No lie. So you gotta pay for the nails, and because you know the hands and the and the feet are are two different prices, and then depending on the on the uh, uh, acrylic paint and the designs and the whatever, it adds more. I know because I paid for them in the past. Then you gotta pay for the hair, which is a do totally different ball game to blow dry it, give some highlights, give a new dye, all that's a, a treatment for the scalp. That's another. That's another bill right there. And then, you know, you got to throw some drinks in there at the spot. Any men know that he spent a good $500 on a woman to get her stuff ready. All of that costs. And these women are not trying to hear that. That's when you went into the deeper waters, right? These women are not trying to hear that. But then you get, you contradict yourself in your own argument when you say, oh, I don't want no men to pay for me, but I don't want no men to be a scrub. A scrub and woman needs, like they say in the men's field, a scrub is a guy who doesn't pay all the bills. Like, I just want you ladies to be straightforward. It's okay that you want a man to pay your bills. It's okay you want a man to provide, but you cannot be in either side. You cannot be in the left side and the right side. You got to pick one. And then towards the end of your video, you made a good valid point. Why? You always got to pay for my stuff and you have never paid for yours. It goes both ways, especially if you guys are married, you know, y'all paying a mortgage. Like, I love how these people say they don't do 50-50, but then these mortgages and these inflations and these rents are at all time high, but y'all want to live a life of luxury and spend a man who's making 80,000, 40,000 to pay for everything. But you know, woman logic. And, but she made it that good point. Why I always got to be a man paying for everything, right? We live in the same house. We're a team. We're one. We're married. We're a couple. We are in all of this together forever. But anyways, right? Why do we got to Why do we gotta pay for everything is if we're supposed to be a team? Let me answer that to you, Telemundo lady. It's called hypergamy. It's called hypergamy. What you, your, your woman nature. Come on now. And let me show you why you were a hypocrite, because when when the feminist and the liberal woman came at you because of what you said and you folded in the comments. Let me read you this comment right here. You over here in the comments explaining yourself to him about P.S. ladies, they're still pay inequality. Really? You still with this bullshit with the pay inequality? You still this is what you folded right here. This is why you a hypocrite. Let's keep reading. P.S. ladies. They're still paying equality. If the guy makes more money and you are in a serious relationship, in a relationship, 
Death help your girl out with her expenses. But let's not strive to depend off the guy financially. Independent baddies. And then, you know, you got this sucker saying good woman. You see there how you contradicting your argument? How you said in, in the video talking about, hey, hey, uh, uh, we got to go 50-50. We're a team. Why you... Why you all, uh you why you always gotta pay for my stuff and I can't ever pay for yours because of hypergamy because if I'm making a hundred and thirty thousand hundred and fifty thousand and you over here in your bourgeoisie job making forty fifty you're expecting for me to take care of everything right but then again it defeats your argument when you said you don't always have to pay for, why is it that you always gotta pay for my stuff but oh it's as long as you make more than me you can pay for everything. Right? Or if we're making evenly, you can pay for everything. Right? Or if you make less than me, okay, it's okay. This is when we go half and half. You see? Contradiction. Please, woman, give in to your hypergamous nature. Don't try in front of it. And I know a lot of you ladies are upfront about it, but this is why I don't respect when a woman try to play both sides. It's like a lot of you who try to play the liberal and the conservative game, but that's a story for another day. It's okay to be hypergamous, right? But it was not okay to be a hypocrite. That's all I'm saying. But hey, guys, what do you guys think? Can we normalize uh, a man, a uh, man not being used for their resources or they wallet their bank account? I think not. I think not because as long as hypergamy exists, which is woman innate nature, that will never end. But hey, we live in a modern. We live in a modern society, right? We live in a equality-based society, right? And just please tell me what you guys think below. To my to my one of my best friends in life, Intuitive Gems. I'm not gonna say your name. You know who you are. Intuitive Gems, I would love to hear your take on this one down in the comment section. My cousin Angie, tell me what you think about this one since you're a married woman. Kev, Kia, all you guys, all my peoples. Comment down below, because all, all, all my friends and cousins are already married. I'm the single one, and I'm loving it. Tell me, married people, please tell me what you think. Single, whoever, just tell me what you think down in the comment section below. It's your boy, Ryan, and I'm out. Peace.